Welcome everybody, college basketball action. We're joined once again today from Ross Benjamin, NCAA basketball analyst. Last night was a tough night for the underdogs, but tonight looks like a good bounce back spot. And Ross has three games that he wants to share with us. Uh, Ross, first and foremost, good to have you back with us. Uh, TCU is at home getting four against Kansas State. Now, both of these teams are not playing that good a ball right now. Very, very inconsistent. What is it about TCU on the home floor with the points that you like about this ticket tonight to be a cash? Well, the bad point is, is that TCU is dead last in the Big 12 Conference. Uh, the good point is, is that Kansas State is just one game ahead of them. So you're absolutely right, Mike. Neither one of these teams is shining of late. However, let's take a look at some simplistic things here that apply to this matchup. Kansas State has gone 0-7 and their last seven true road games, that doesn't bode well for a road favorite. TCU has been uh, anywhere near a good team at home, but they have gone three and three in their last six on their home floor. That's enough for me. I'm going to have a small lean here toward the TCU Horn Frogs plus the four over Kansas State. Yeah, and it's amazing. Kansas State had that one really big win against Oklahoma, and you would think that would just boost the team and that they would really kind of see the picture for the, for the tournament, and they just absolutely have gone the opposite directions. That's been puzzling. So TCU plus four on their home court. Now the second game, Old Miss getting nine and a half at Texas A&M. All right, now Texas A&M ranked 15th in the country, but they're really, really kind of struggling a bit, had a big loss on Saturday. What is it about this game you like with Old Miss? This is a tough team, and they've been playing opponents pretty tough. But what is it, Ross, that Old Miss has that's going to catch this ticket tonight as well? It's more so what Texas A&M doesn't have currently. I mean, this is a good Texas A&M team. Make no mistake about it. They've been nationally ranked for the majority of the season. However, they're ice cold right now, Mike. 0-4 straight up in ATS in their last four. One and five straight up in ATS in their last six. This is an Ole Miss team that's covered in six of their last seven games. They're shooting 39.2% from beyond the three-point line over their last five contests, and that's the great equalizer in college basketball. Too many points here, in my opinion, on an ice-cold team against a team that's really been covering at a high ratio. I'm going to take Ole Miss here plus the nine and a half at Texas A&M. Yeah, I can't disagree with you. I mean, they're seven and two against the spread on the road. They've won three of their last four. They're really putting some things together. And I think they're going to catch Texas A&M in a bad spot because Texas A&M, they've lost, what, five out of six now. And it's going to be interesting to see if they lose this game where they're going to drop in the ranking. So I like that one as well, Ole Miss. And I thought the points was a hell of a lot myself, plus nine and a half. Now, the last game, Ross, this is a really interesting game. Two ranked teams. Iowa State getting three and a half against Baylor, and Baylor is just not covering on, on their home court. They're three and eight against the spread at home. So with this game, who do you think, I mean, obviously you like Iowa State, but who do you think could win this thing outright? Well, you know, here's the thing. I mean, I, I outright is a good way to go about this. I mean, just like the old Miss game, you got a Texas A&M team that's lost four in a row and, and they're laying points against a, a big number. Uh, and similar here, we have a Baylor team, their last three home games, 0-3 straight up in ATS against conference opponents. That's their last three conference home games, I should say. 0-3 straight up in ATS and have lost by an average of 12 points per contest. They are also failed to cover in seven of their last eight games overall. I don't like the way they're playing defense by any stretch right now. This is a Baylor team that's allowed opponents to shoot 50.3% from the floor over their last seven contests. That doesn't bode well for a favorite as well. And then you got Iowa State playing with revenge here, Mike. They played Baylor in early January when Baylor was playing much better basketball and sustained a rare home loss, 94-89 at the hands of the Bears. So they'll come in with a little chip on their shoulder here. And Iowa State has gone 4-4 four and four in true road games this season. So it's not like they're intimidated by playing on the road. I'm going to take a shot here with the Cyclones, plus 3.5 against a Baylor Bear team that has been playing Matador defense of late. 
And I agree. I think that revenge factor will play into factor here tonight for sure because, you know, Baylor hasn't been the same team since that win. And I don't know what's going on with them defensively and also scratching my head what happened to Rico Gathers offensively. He's really been struggling, and I don't see any real leadership on that squad. So Iowa State, they're certainly capable of going in and getting the win. They're 5-3 and three against the spread on the road, so they're not afraid of that at all. So, all right, viewers, you heard it. There's three underdogs that Ross likes tonight, TCU plus four, Old Miss plus nine and a half, and Iowa State plus three and a half. Ross, good luck tonight. I hope you beat them bad tonight. I hope you knock all three of them down, and we look forward to having you back again with us real soon, my friend. Look forward to it as well, Mike. Have a great day.